Hi, welcome again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add landscape deformation support to any Unreal Engine 5 World Partition Open World project. We are using OpenLand's landscape deformation support, but you don't have to use OpenLand at all. You can use any sort of landscape material you have, and it, it's just going to work. And, and I'll show you how to get that done in this tutorial. All right, uh, let's get started. All right, now let's start from scratch. I'm going to create a new level. And it should be an open world level. So because we are working on open world project, right? Now we have it. Now I'm gonna save it first. Uh, give it a name like tutorial. Yep, that works fine. All right. Now I'm gonna change the landscape of this to open land. So make sure you uh, download the open land into this project and check the description below if you want to get open land from the marketplace or from GitHub. Uh, now I'm gonna first go to edit project settings. And I'm going to search for virtual texture and here make sure to enable virtual texture support for this project. Even though you're not using a virtual texture or RBT support in, you need to enable this checkbox. Otherwise, some of the features in uh, OpenLand form doesn't work. All right. Uh, that's the first thing you have to do. All right, cool. And then uh, select your landscape from here. And also you need to select all the streaming proxies. Uh, you can uh, open this from here and uh, scroll to the bottom and then hold shift and select all including the landscape actor right then go to the details panel and search for material oh, yeah we have it over here i'm gonna search i'm gonna select it to the open lands master material that we are using that's mi underscore open land and here we have something called open land theme default i'm gonna select that at the end of the video i'm gonna show you how to use this uh, open land deform tool with a custom landscape material so you don't need to use open land at all all the time but you can start with open land for sure right so now we have it i'm gonna save this since we change the landscape material so it's a good idea to preload your level so i'm gonna do that right now so it's tutorial over here i'm gonna double click and then open this project so it will look like this yeah that's totally fine uh, because we need to design a paint layer the first paint layer i'm gonna go to my landscape mode go to the paint section and then scroll a little bit down I'm gonna assign the auto for it. That's the first layer. Uh, I'm gonna assign a lane for file. Then it will assign the landscape material like this, but it doesn't do anything. Right click on this uh, paint layer and select fill layer. So it will make sure to fill everything with this layer. Right. And also I need to place some uh, sand on over here because that's how I can uh, work on the deformed data because open land material is configured to use sand by default, but you can configure it for anything else as well. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, so in order to do paint some sand i'm gonna scroll to the bottom i'm gonna select my sand layer it'll be a little bit hard in uv if i to select that uh, you need to scroll it like carefully so that's a tedious task anyway all right i'm gonna select lay in for file and then i'm gonna paint somewhere over here all right something like this doesn't matter the shape i'm gonna go out of my landscape mode and there is one more thing we have to do I'm going to go to my landscape mode then i'm going to select my landscape actor from the outliner and also select all the streaming proxies right and then from the details panel search to use dynamic material instance i'm going to select that as well right and then uh, i'm going to save this so make sure everything's saved right so that's how we can communicate with the uh, the landscape deformation system and the landscape material so we need to check that uh, checkbox then go to op content open land directory and here we have a directory called blueprints go to deform and here we have actor called open land deform manager simply drag that into your project right so we'll talk about this in a moment but let's go to the landscape and simply uh, play my game right now you can see some some sort of deformed data over here it's really hard to see here because it's just some normal changes with this uh, landscape texture uh i'm gonna change the landscape uh, texture on this sand uh, to something else uh but you don't have to do it but it's it looks a little bit clear to do that so i have already downloaded some uh, lens texture from the mega scan uh, i'm gonna change it uh, very quickly uh you don't have to do this way you can simply go through the material instance and change that but this is uh, something faster i'm gonna open the widget and here we have mega scan widget i'm gonna right click and run editor utility widget i'm gonna select the material layer sand that we painted i'm gonna select the mega scan texture this one these two are black over here i'm gonna reload it just to make sure everything works okay i'm gonna select it right uh yeah everything's done now we have uh, this sand yeah 
that's an uh, it doesn't have much variations so we can easily see i'm gonna play my game right now you can see something like this so this is just something uh, like something to see whether our deform system is working or not as you can see it's working just fine so we can uh, start uh, working on this so this is uh, some normals that you can see over here it's just fine in some situations and it's quite cheap as well all right uh let's actually uh, write some footprints so let's start working on that all right uh then i go to my outliner and we have added a actor called open land deform manager i'm going to select that and from the details panel and here we have something called follow player character so that's how we can see this uh debug system uh, that we can draw i'm going to uncheck that i'm going to play this game now we can see we don't see anything now i'm going to add some actual uh, foot tracks uh, let me show you how to do that so in order to do that you need to go to your character blueprint in this case uh, i'm going to the default third person uh, character i'm going to double click on that folder we have blueprint and this is my third person character in your case it could be something else uh, right and here uh, i'm going to assign some components all right uh, to your mesh you can see over here uh, it's, yeah over here I'm going to assign some components into these uh, two uh, feet. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to select my mesh. You have to select your mesh. That's pretty important. And then uh, hit add and search for open land. And here we have something called open land deform component. All right. I'm going to add another one for our both foot. All right. All right. And make sure to uh, like have them under the mesh character mesh. I'm going to select one of them and go to the details panel and we have something called sorts i'm going to select this uh, i'm going to click this search icon and i'm going to search for foot and uh, foot let's say r so it's assigned to my this foot i'm going to place it uh, somewhere closer to the middle and uh, close to the bottom of my foot okay i'm going to select the other one uh, what's the foot should be left i guess yes one so we assign this component to both of my foot that's what we're gonna do all right so i'm gonna compile and save this and let's try to play my game and let's see what we can see right now we can see foot component but we can see something is happening but it's uh yeah it's continuous like we don't it's just it doesn't look like footprint okay i'm gonna fix this right now quite easily uh we have uh, all these components i'm gonna select both of these components so we can change settings together and here we have something called on the details panel called deformed component inputs and we have something called max depth so here uh, it seems like like here the max depth from from here to basically to the ground so in this case the max depth should be something like 10 centimeters like even just five centimeters fine i'm going to set 10 centimeters so it's 100 100 is just fine if you're adding this for a, like a car wheel or something like that but in this case uh, it should be just 10 okay it's just like a couple of centimeters okay this is just fine i'm gonna compile and save this right now play my game right now we can see it's just behaving as you expected right now you can see uh this uh like footprint looks like a circular shape but i would like to get some little bit of like foot shape but yeah it's quite easy uh again i'm gonna select uh one of my, these components all these things are dry from this brush material i'm gonna double click and open that and here we can see the actual shape like this in a box okay this foot uh, footprint actually that we're doing i'm gonna scale a little bit from the uv wise i'm gonna yeah do something like this all right it's not exactly a, like say not a circle and then i'm gonna increase the uh, warp amplitude amplitude a little bit so it has a little bit different uh, shapes time to time and i can increase the warp, warp speed as well yeah it's changing slightly changing subtle right i'm gonna save everything and i'm gonna play my game right now you can see yeah it's, it's much better right this way right cool now you can see everything you can see drive through normals there is no actual deformation happening here but this is a decent system that uh, works all the time and uh, it's, it's good with the performance as well sometimes and uh, no flickering and uh, everything looks good and the texture quality is superb uh, with the ue5 uh, upsc upscaling technology uh, and if you're using rvt and virtual height wheel mesh which you're going to try soon uh, you you lost all those things so if you're happy with this uh, deformation setup simply use that it's the it's the best uh, it's the best of the both worlds so yeah
right now we are done with the basic deformation setup uh we have sort of videos about talking about how to control these material and some of the go through all these settings and check our documentation for all the, those things because i'm not going to touch uh those things in this video okay now let's add the virtual height field mesh support so we can get actual dis uh, displacement okay uh, it's quite easy with open LAN. Uh, i'm going to go to content directory and uh, and make sure to install the virtual height field mesh plugin go to plugins and search for virtual and you have to enable this virtual height field mesh plugin so that's that's the must right and then uh you can uh, go to the open land directory here we have widgets directory and here we have something called open land underscore hf mesh widget i'm going to right click and then select run editor utility widget and then we have a big button called add hf mesh support I'm gonna click that and then you will provide some uh, details to like follow some steps then of course you can follow that but I'm gonna show you how to do that it's quite easy actually I'm gonna select my RVT volume height from the outliner and here we have something called virtual texture I'm gonna select my virtual texture RVT open line height and from the RVT volume material I'm gonna select the RVT volume material so basically I need to select to both the uh, textures over here, RVD textures, right. And then I'm going to go to my virtual HF mesh uh, actor. I'm going to scroll a little bit up. We have something called virtual texture. I'm going to select RVD volume height. Okay. Now it's, we configured everything. That's good. And there's one more thing we have to do. I'm going to select my landscape and we need to scroll to the bottom and we need to select all the streaming proxies landscape actor and all the streaming proxies and then search for draw right and then uh, there's a, a drop down called draw in main pass and here it's called always i'm going to select that to never so what we're doing is we're going to ask like landscape system to not to render uh the actual landscape uh, but uh, render the uh, virtual height field mesh all the time so that's what we do doing here now it's change the texture yeah something like this that's something in the editor can do it i can simply reopen my uh, map so it will uh, fix everything so started compiling some textures let's let's wait until that right now everything's done what i can do is i can simply play my game right then let's play now you can see i can see actual displacement right now it's quite uh quite actually high but we don't need this much of displacement for sand uh, but it's happening yeah that's that's pretty much that's pretty good right so let me show you how to change the size depth of this uh, foot size it's quite easy actually i'm going to open my landscape material i'm going to select landscape and i'm going to search for the landscape material over here. that's a, it's the material, material instance double click and open that and here search for deform right then here we have some layers like sand and so on and it shows the deformation depth max height something like that so this is sand i'm gonna select that i'm gonna set it to like let's say yeah just 10 centimeters that's just that's just fine and let me play again right now it's it's decent right now so it does some deformation and this is this is good this is good right okay it's pretty cool and let's go to the edge of this uh painted area somewhere over here now you can see i can see footprints over here if i walk out of that place it's it's the depth of this height uh this uh, footprint height is going uh, diminished and if you go to the uh, ground layer uh, we don't see anything but you, you can actually change that you can go to the deforms here and you can see the ground layer that we are has, having here and it's by default set to zero but you can set to like 10 maybe and then you can deform the uh, ground as well but in this case it looks weird but uh, if you have some other texture basically you can do that as well all right now we have talked about that i have talked about a lot of customizing all this material and all stuff in a different video i have link in the description I'll also check the uh, open lens documentation on the deform section and you can get all all the details about how to customize all the things and so on i'm not going to touch uh, about those things in this video right now we have talked about how to uh, set up everything over here and now i'm going to show you how to actually add this to your custom master material custom master landscape material you have you know to do i think it's the best to like start from a fresh project because i don't because we have configured a lot of things over here i don't like to change things i'm gonna go to file um new level 
open world i'm gonna create a new one and i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna simply override the uh, tutorial one because why not right now we have a default uh, landscape open world landscape yeah it's pretty cool and then what i'm trying to do is i'm gonna do a couple of things first thing is i'm gonna select my landscape so, so i assume here we have a landscape material i'm gonna double click and open that uh, let's put it over here uh, let's get up all them uh, open lands up right all right now we have this so i'm gonna uh, simply uh, select my landscape as we did earlier i'm gonna select all the proxies as well i'm gonna search for low in the details panel use dynamic material instance that's how we can connect communicate with the landscape system and this actors uh, okay right uh, right i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna again drag the open land blueprints deform this deform manager i'm redoing everything right and then i play my game nothing really happens because actually my deformed data is actually working but it doesn't it, it won't talk to the actual landscape material um, it talks to the landscape material but it's not reading it all right let's uh read that data i want to go to my landscape material and about the at the end i'm going to right click and search for uh let's say deform let's search for deform all right we have something called read open land deform data i'm going to get that so basically what's happening here, here is it will actually uh, get some deformed data over here and we can get some normal yeah la, 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 like that i need to give the existing normal as well so it's a uh, it's up to you how, how you can get that but seems like there is no normals in this uh landscape material but it's in your landscape material if you have some normals you can uh, put them over here and also if you're doing some other uh, world pressure now offset changes you can plug them as well and also you can set the max height uh so i'll talk that i'll talk about that in a moment and also you can give some mask if you want right here i'm just gonna read the normals i'm gonna apply them over here so, uh, i'm gonna set this material attributes go to the details panel over here i'm gonna add a new element and i'm gonna select it as normal all right i'm gonna give it normal like this all right then i think it will uh, i want to give me the max height i'm gonna so that's the max step that we control on this material instant if you remember i'm gonna click one get a constant I'm going to put something like 10 over here. All right, why not? Let's give 25. Nah, we can change it all base. All right, I'm going to save this. All right, I'm going to play this game. All right, now you can see it's actually a deformed my landscape, this uh, open world landscape. And here you can see uh, that's a little bit different. The reason is actually uh, we do follow character as well. We also have the footprint support, so we don't need to do this. I'm gonna check that. Right, you can see now it's so we are actually uh, changed in this material. It's pretty cool, right? So in this uh, landscape material, there's no virtual height field mesh or anything, so you cannot do actual um, deformation. But if you have such a system uh, built in, and then the, here we have the word WPO output, so basically it will uh, capture the uh, all the height changes that uh, landscape deformation system does. So you can plug them. To whatever system you have over here you can do that also we have something called normalized deformation so basically it's a zero to one range uh, showing with the actual deformation data you can use that as well here we, you have something called deform mask so it will uh, give you a mask of the area that actually deforming uh, so that's also helpful in some cases you can use that so it's totally up to you you can uh, change some colors with it and, and do very interesting things uh, i can uh, i can show you a couple of things uh, so basically just to make sure everything works uh, i'm gonna do a very simple thing i'm gonna get the normalized deformation and put it to the base color over here i'm gonna save it and it, it will like change everything but it looks cool like this you have something like that. i'm gonna play my game you can see what's going on over here see so this is the deform uh, mask and you can see that right then if you put the uh let's say i'm gonna put the uh uh, deform mask instead of the normal deformation it will uh, give a different effect see so you can get this mask and do very interesting things with your landscape material all right i'm gonna configure my existing base layer base color i'm only interested about the normals all right and this looks pretty good i hope uh, this will be useful um see you soon with something interesting bye